I'll be the first to admit that I was wrong, so we're gonna take another look at the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop Antenna. Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop Antenna. I did a review on this antenna about three years ago, and at that time, I kind of gave it a mediocre uh, review. And um, my opinions have really kind of changed with this antenna, and I'm gonna tell you why in this video. Uh, but first, I think we need to step back a little bit, and I'm gonna explain what uh, Delta Loop antennas are, uh, what the Chameleon Tactical Delta Loop is, and why I have a different opinion of it. So what is a delta loop antenna? Basically, it's a variation of the uh, loop antennas. And um, uh, classically, a of, of, of loop antenna would be uh, four uh, quarter wave elements in a square configuration, horizontally uh, configured into sort of a square type shape. Uh, the feed point would be at the uh, corner of uh, the ape of, of one of those uh, where, where two of the quarter wave elements meet. Uh, the delta loop is a variation on that. Instead of four elements, we've got three elements. And what makes the chameleon uh, delta loop different is that instead of, of horizontally um, configuring it, uh, this is a vertically uh, configured antenna with the um, apex at the bottom and then the, the, the flat uh, segment of the triangle at the top. Uh, now, now, a triangular, you know, delta loop antennas uh, can be uh, vertically oriented like that. In fact, that's one of the, the neat things about uh, delta loops is that you can orient them vertically. Uh, you can put the apex of the triangle high, then you only need one support, and then the bottom would be that would be that long that long horizontal piece. It makes them makes them relatively easy to deploy. Um, a lot of times in, in that configuration, the um, instead of at the at the bottom, you know, for the feed point, the feed point would be uh, along the side at the end of the of the delta loop. Um, so, with the chameleon tactical delta loop, uh, we orient the uh, feed point at the bottom. The two legs go out. These are the 17-foot uh, stainless steel uh, man, stainless steel uh, whips. Uh, there is a wire at the top that connects the two whips to turn them into a uh, sort of into that loop type configuration. Uh, when it is uh, typically a delta loop antenna is going to have about uh, 3 dB of gain if the apex is at the top. If the apex is at the bottom, the, the, the gain is going to be about around 2.6 dB. Um, typically with a traditional delta loop, you're going to be uh, vertically polarized if the apex is at the top. If the apex is at the bottom and the long wire is at the top, then you're going to be horizontally polarized. Uh, and that can make a difference with your uh, takeoff angle a little bit. Um, the chameleon antenna comes with a spike mount, so you can uh, put it in the ground and have the antenna uh, uh, ground mounted. It works just fine with that. But actually with loop antennas, uh, they, re they can receive better performance, a better RF takeoff angle uh, if they are elevated. Uh, typically the, the uh, you want to be about two and a half meters above the ground in, in elevation. Uh, for us, you know, that did not go to elementary school in the 1970s, that would be about eight feet. Uh, <laughs> so it's, um, I've got it on a tripod here. You know, we're about, oh, maybe about um, just a little over a meter about uh, a little, about five feet at the moment here. So uh, we would really want to get it up a little bit higher, but elevating the loop does make a difference in, uh, in its performance. And so that's one of the things I was wrong about in the original video. We only tried it 
on the uh, 20 and the 40 meter bands and we only tried it um, ground mounted. So the chameleon antenna, I, it works best on the higher bands, 20 meters and up. And I've found that if you get this antenna on 15, 12 and 10 meters, it really performs. Um, we're going to demonstrate, I'll demonstrate today, you know, um, an activation on 20 and also those other, on those other bands, 40 meters and lower. Uh, what happens is that just because of its size, it just, um, it, it, it really starts to develop a lot of envis properly, near, near vertical incident sky wave propagation. So more of the signal is going upwards and, and come and then, and then sort of raining down on us. Uh, that would be good. On, on, on sort of a tactical standpoint, if you wanted a uh, good Envis uh, communications antenna on the lower bands, so that might be something you would want to consider. Uh, but um, if you're looking for DX you know, on 40 meters, you're not going to get it with this antenna, though the, 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 the size of the loop is just too small for that. Uh, the antenna is fed with the Chameleon uh, 5 to 1 uh, MPAS. Uh, transformer and uh, characteristic impedance of delta loops antennas are roughly about 146 uh, ohms. So uh, this is a this is a fairly good match for the um, for the antenna. Um, SWR I find on this antenna um, 20 meters I'm getting about two and a half three to one on the upper bands 15 or 17 15 12 and 10 well under two to one, you can run this antenna on those upper bands uh, without a tuner. Um, 20 meters, you're gonna need a tuner. 40, 80, you're gonna need, a, you're gonna need an antenna tuner. So, uh, but um, otherwise, um, we're here at Council Ground State Park. I'm gonna put this antenna on the air on the, the 20 meter band. I also have some activations that I've done on the higher bands. We'll show you those too a little bit later on in the video. Park to park, park to park. Sierra, Echo November. Park to park, Kilo, Bravo, Niner, Victor, Bravo, Romeo. Right, there's two of you there, I believe, so start Kilo Delta 9. Kilo Delta 9, November, Juliet, Juliet 5 and 5 into my park today, Kilo 11078. Again, again, 11078. USL is 0673, and uh, thanks for asking. Have fun out there activating today. It uh, sounds like a good day to be activating. 73. Uh, was there another park to park? Park to park, Kilo, Bravo, Niner, Victor, Bravo, Romeo. Kilo, Bravo, Niner, Victor, Bravo, Romeo. Good to hear you out there, Michael. Uh, didn't expect to pick you up. You are 5 and 4, 5 and 4 into my park. Kilo, 11078, 11078. USL? QSL, the 5 and 4 and 11078. You're also coming in 5-4 here into Kilo 1447. Yeah, I turned, I just got set up, turned on the radio, and there you were calling. All right, good to hear you out there, Michael. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for coming back to me, and uh, you have a good activation, 73. You too have a great activation. Kilo Fox Zero, Mike Charlie X ray, parks on the air, QRZ. CQ, CQ, parks on the air, CQ, parks on the air. KB9 VBR, Kilo Bravo 9 or Victor Bravo Romeo calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Whiskey Bravo 8, Uniform Bravo Radio. Whiskey Bravo 8, Uniform Bravo Radio, nice 5 9 into Kilo 1447. Back to you. Uh, QSL, thanks for 1447. I've got you 5 6 into Ohio. All right, well, thanks a lot for Ohio today. Uh, you have a great day and 7 3. 7 3, have a great day also. Take it easy, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo off to four, Quebec, India, X-ray. Kilo zero, Italy, Tango, Charlotte. to park. A whiskey one, Hotel, Mike, Mike. Kilo Echo zero, Quebec, Echo, Quebec. Kilo Echo zero, Quebec, Echo, Quebec, uh, five nine into Kilo 1447. Back to you. Yeah, thank you for that, Michael. Thank you for the video. Zero five nine, South Dakota. All right. Well, thanks a lot for South Dakota today. Greatly appreciated. You have a great day in 7-3. 7-3.
Whiskey three, Oscar Yankee. Whiskey three, Oscar Yankee. Five nine into Kilo 1447. Back to you. Copy the five nine into 1447. You are also five by nine here in Pennsylvania. Thank you very much. Seven three. All right. Thanks for Pennsylvania. You have a great day in seven three. KB9 VBR parks on the air. Kira Z. Okay, I got the uh, Alpha Lima 7, Kilo Charlie. Uh, you're a 5-3 into Kilo 1447. Back to you. Okay, thanks. Uh, appreciate it. You're also 53 into Alaska. This is Alpha Lima 7, Kilo Charlie. All right, well, thanks for Alaska today. Uh, you have a great day in 7-3. KB9 VBR parks on the air. Kira Z. Okay, I heard a couple park to parks. I'm going to start with the Alpha two, uh, Alpha Kilo 2 Golf. Uh, get him out of the way. 5-9 into Kilo 10054. Back to you. Okay, uh, good afternoon, Mike. AK2G here. Thanks for the 5-9. You're also 5-9 into November Yankee. Over. All right, thanks for the New York today. Uh, you have a great day and 7-3. And then let's go with the park to park stations. Park to park, park, Zulu one, five Victor, park to park. Okay, I'm, uh, I got the Whiskey Zulu 5 Victor, uh, 5 7 into two parks, Kilo 10054 and Kilo 4238. Back to you. QSL, Michael, appreciate the contact. I've got you to 5 9 plus coming into southern Oklahoma from Park Kilo 2790. Over. Roger the 2790 in Oklahoma, and thank you for the park today. All right, 73, and love your videos, man. Hey, that's great to hear. You have a great activation today, uh, 73. And then the other park to park station. Park to park, Whiskey One, Echo Yankee Zulu. Whiskey One, Echo Yankee Zulu, thanks for holding there. You're a 59 into Kilo 10054 and a Kilo 4238. Back to you. I have you a 5-9 as well, into park Kilo 0891, that's 0891, QSL? QSL, the 0891 in uh, Massachusetts, and thank you for the park today. Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Is that November 7, Victor Bravo November? November 7, Victor Bravo, November. Thanks for the 4433. Three. Got two parks for you. Kilo 10054 and Kilo 4238. Back to you. Roger, Roger. Thank you for the 4238 and the 10054. Enjoy your activation. Roger, Roger. And thanks for the 12 meter contact. I needed it for this, for this park. So uh, you have a great activation. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, Kilo 0, Oscar Echo, Park to Park. Kilo 0, Oscar Echo, got two parks for you. Uh, kilo 10054 and Kilo 4238, back to you. Uh, thank you for 4238 and 10054, and uh, you are 5 and 9 into Park Kilo 11124, 11124, Arizona. Roger the 11124 in Arizona, and yeah, you're also a 592. Big signal uh, coming into the park, so uh, thanks for the contact today. Yeah, thanks for the 12-minute uh, contact, and uh, have, a, have a good activation, 73. Roger, Roger. Yeah, I needed I needed 12 for this park, so uh, great, uh, good to get you in the log. You have a great activation, 73. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air. Cures it. Hello, Michael. Whiskey, Quebec 9, Victor, Deep South, Texas. Whiskey, Quebec 9, Victor, you're a big 5'9". You sound much better on 12 than you did on 15. So um, uh, you're coming in, You're like I said, 5'9 into 10054. Back to you. Well, we had a pretty good activation here at Council Ground State Park in uh, Merrill, Wisconsin, uh, using the Chameleon uh, Tactical Delta Loop antenna. Uh, this antenna, uh, like I said, I reviewed this antenna about three years ago and I was kind of um, mediocre on it, but after using it again, especially now that the uh, solar cycle has peaked a little bit and we see a lot more activity on the higher bands, 15, 12, and 10 meters, I can honestly say that this is um, 
a excellent antenna. Uh, works very well, especially at 20 meters and above. Uh, when you get down to the lower bands, uh, the efficiency really starts to drop off. And uh, what happens is just because of the size of the antenna, it um, becomes more of an Envis antenna for those lower bands. But um, on 15, <laughs> 17 meters, I got some great DX uh, with this antenna, including um, a 4,000 mile contact uh, over the pole to Sweden on, um, on, on, on the 17 meter band. Pretty cool. Sierra Mike 2, Sierra Uniform Mike, 5.5 five and a kilo 10054. Back to you. Roger, Roger, good afternoon. You are a 5 and 3, 53 Northern Sweden. Thank you very much for the excavation and good luck in the park. All right, well, thanks a lot for the Northern Sweden today. It sounds you got a real big flutter on your signal. I think you're coming over the pole. So uh, uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. Bye bye. Seven three chow. Uh, KB nine VBR parks on the air. Kilo seven uniform alpha papa. It's a performer. I like it. Um, so one of the things about uh, uh, these loop antennas, especially the, the uh, uh, delta loop antennas, is when they're oriented uh, like this in a in a, a vertical position, uh, they become. Uh, they, they do have a little bit of directivity and they're going and the directivity is going to be broadside from the antenna. So if you look at the long wire, the, uh, the, the direction it going like this, if this is oriented north and south, it's going to be broadside east and west. And that's how I've got this antenna oriented today is so that it is broadside east and west and listening to signal reports and looking at the map of the contacts I made today on 20 meters, you can definitely tell that um, to the east of me, the eastern seaboard, to the west of me, uh, the, um, um, the western states, Utah, Washington, California, really came in on this antenna. And the weaker stations, um, stations that are with, a, with like an omnidirectional vertical antenna that you usually hear really good in Texas, uh, Georgia, were definitely had a lower um, signal report than I than I would normally normally receive and that just illustrates the sort of the directivity of this style of antenna. It's a really blustery day here <laughs> at Council Grounds and um, I've got this um, my tripod uh, weighted down with a sandbag and um, it held up really good. Had some gusts in the upper 20s and um, everything stayed upright. Uh, the antenna handled that wind load uh, very well. So I'm, I'm kind of impressed with that. So it's, um, I like it. Um, I think we're going to, uh, like I said, now that we're at the top of the solar cycle, we're going to get this antenna back into the rotation again. I uh, use it on a few more activations. It's, um, it's a multi-band antenna, so it does give you that um, band agility. Um, you can easily switch bands without having to get out and out of the vehicle or, or, or move away from your operating position and, um, and readjust and retune the antenna. So it's um, uh, nice on that regards. So um, Chameleon uh, Technical Delta Loop Antenna. Uh, look for this and more of my Parks on the Air activations. Uh, Michael, KB9VBR, thanks for joining me. You have a great day in 7-3.